Duke's uh, family vineyard. Yeah, we are we're exploring. We're gonna have uh, some drinks. Me, not so much because I'm driving. But we're gonna see what's what's going on over here. There's, we already saw some animals, some ducks. Yeah, There's some goats. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you come to Duke's, get three days with their 2015 sparkling brut. I'm reading off here, so I don't really. <laughs> Oh, right, so here we have a uh, Swiss, we have a pepperoni, um, truffled almonds, uh, dried figs, this is a manchego, sheep's cheese, prosciutto, and then a white cheddar potato. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Great. Good. Thank you. So it seems like this is produced here, right? Oh, yeah. All of them? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Not only do you get delicious wine, you get to meet Emma. Uh, this is a Charlotte, uh, 2017 Charlotte Pinot Noir. Uh, we'll just take a sip. Mm. Lovely, simply lovely. The 2017 Charlotte is captivating in the glass. On the nose, enticing layers of dark chocolate and orange peel present with hints of forest loam and baking spice. As the wine enters the mouth, you are rewarded with lush stone fruit filling the palate. Beautifully balanced with rich tannins, finish lingers going on and on. The 2017 Charlotte is crafted for time and will age with stunning beauty in your cellar for 15 to 20 years. 1,208 cases. So the next one on the flight is a 2007 Alyssa Pinot Noir. Is this yeah. 2017? 2017 yeah. Alyssa. Yeah. It's 814 cases. It offers notes of dusty rose and forest loam, loom with hints of leather and spice, highlighting a background of strawberry and blackberry preserves. You want to stomp on some grapes? <laughs> Bello Pinot Noir, wild strawberries, fresh cut hay, Hints of soft chocolate, leather, and lavender. The last wine of our flight is a 2017 Pearl Chardonnay. And you see it's yellow. And it's, it says that, according to this paper, it's lemon curd, whetstone with a hint of vanilla, and honeysuckle. Let's see. I definitely taste it's very lemony, so I do taste that. The rest went out wine closers, so you gotta come try it yourself. Try this. Yeah. <laughs> Was this um, a vineyard before they bought it? or it, did There they were it? some vines planted. There were some planted up here and some on the backside of Nipple Hill. Um, but the ones on the backside of Nipple Hill are Syrah vines, and it's too cold here where yeah. it has been until recently. 
for Syrah to like ripen enough, mm -hmm. so they um, they grafted over those with Chardonnay, I believe. And then the vines up here were planted like your traditional vineyards, and um, they wanted more flavor, more punch out of the vine. That's the Charlotte that comes from up there. And so they tore all those out and then planted them twice as close together, both directions. Mm -hmm. And then they don't water unless it gets over 100 degrees. So these vines struggle, which oh, gives yeah. it like way more flavor, more tannin. Which is my favorite. That was on the board. I like the brute. The brute, the brute. okay. <laughs> First yeah. thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I like, I'm a big sparkling yes. wine fan. Ever since forever, I've always loved the, I mean, I love them all, but, and, and yes, I am biased. Mm -hmm. uh, by blood, but uh, the Charlotte and the Alyssa. Yeah. But, Follow Max <clears throat> at, do you too? Punker from New York. No, dude's Punker from New York. Puppy with us. Are you gonna chase the chickens? Nah. Keep her out here. No, you can bring her in. They're they're locked up. These are my. It started out with the brown speckled. Got about 25 of them. Some new multicolored chickens up there. I think that's five of them. One silver. Do they all have names? No. <laughs> that one that has mostly white uh -huh. is Henny Penny. Henny Penny? She used to be in the coop a lot. What are y'all saying? There's what one in here about? that has a green tag. Her name's Lolly, but I don't know which one has to be in. Like she's Oh, of, shit. Have you ever heard the word brooder? No. Okay, it's uh, she'll squawk at me because she wants to just sit there. <gasps> Those Wait, are all fake. fake eggs, yeah. <laughs> she thinks she's. She, she, she thinks that she makes eggs? Yeah. Oh, poor baby. So I had to write fake on there because I had my vineyard guy taking care of the chickens and he was taking the fake eggs home and not bringing them back. He oh, thought wow. They were, he thought they were just bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Oh, poor baby. There is shit Oh, look at your little eye. Who did that to you? Why they do that to your eye? And yeah, then the rough. big one over to the left by the tree, that's Curtis. Curtis? Or Brutus, I haven't decided. The protector of her and she has a lamb. <laughs> She'll let you cut her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're definitely come <laughs> towards the side of her face. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. She, she won't bite you or nothing. She's just, she's, we got insurance if she bites you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she likes her cheeks. Bell because the white is not perfect on her face and she has a little brown on the back of her leg. And Sophie. And the black headed one with her butt to us is hmm. Rock and Robin. Rock and Robin? Uh, when she was younger, she did a lot of screaming. <laughs> that has lots of multi colors mm. on her face. Her name's Vivian, named after my grandmother's cousin. <laughs> and then there's a white headed one 
Vera, that's my grandmother. And then there's another black one that has more white on the face. Um, that she used to be Petunia. Monica named the her names Petunia. Are so funny. <laughs> but my maid of honor came out with her daughter, and her name is Gracie, and she wanted to name her Gracie, so we changed it to Gracie. Oh. So cute. Hello. Say hello. Yeah, hold it. <laughs> oh. Wait, come back. Nick Chance. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. This is super dirty. <laughs> it's okay. I have wipes. Nick Chan. I have wipes. <laughs> he's just a, so he's a gentle little. Did, has he met the new puppy? Yeah. He's oh, getting, do you he's, like him? No, he, didn't, he, like he him? didn't like her. Do you like he her? He growled at her. So there's a forest fire, apparently, to help. I guess they chopped down some trees. Some trees fell down. A lot of the forest is still together. They're still, still around. But it's all very beautiful, even with the burned trees. So we decided to take a day trip outside of Portland to some hot springs. I've never been to a hot springs before, at least a natural hot springs. And so I'm excited. It's called Terwilliger Hot Springs. It was about, what, three hour drive? Yeah. About a three hour drive. And then it's a little bit of a hike. It's $10 per person. They say they take cards, so we'll see. But it's, the drive up here was gorgeous. Look at this. Tree done fell over and it cut right through it. Sorry for my fake southern accent. That ain't even accurate. See, this is one of the pools I'm showing you because nobody's in it. And then there's three more that slowly go up that we can't show you, unfortunately. So, well, it's not unfortunately. You just have to come and check it out yourself. So, we can't show you, but there's like four pools. We're in the top pool, and there's three more. So, you can see the steam coming up. <laughs> <laughs> trying to stay warm by staying under. Oh, nice, right? oh, we cannot move the camera anywhere because we're not taking video of anyone without their consent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's um, clothing optional. So if you like that, this is your place to be. I'm wearing clothing, just for the record. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we're leaving Portland today, but I had to show Sean this really cool home in the middle, about like 30 or 40 minutes away from Portland. So a man named Bruce Campbell bought a airplane, I'll put the full details below, um, and turned it into his home and put it in the middle of this forest or in Portland. So let me see if I can show you all. Check that out. It's a full airplane in the middle of the forest. And he lives here, he's home, but we didn't knock because it is his home, but we just explored it a little bit. And so I saw this on Choose to Explore. I'll put their YouTube channel below, they came here. And when I saw it, I, I, we randomly had this random trip to Portland. I was like, we have to come and I have to show Sean. So if you ever come, I'll link some information below as well, but check, check it out. Cue to B-roll.
once you see this sign, you just go straight up. You can either walk or if you have an SUV and not this <laughs> car we got, we didn't want to chance it. You can drive up. There's plenty of parking. <laughs>